bananas. Hey guys, it is Angel DeVille and I'm actually stirring up paint as you can tell at the bottom the colors that I'm using roughly. Um, I'll show you in a second on what I'm using. I kind of want to get this stirred up though. I probably should have cleaned this before I start adding the paints, but I'm not thinking at the moment. Which I probably should have done that, but it's okay. Um, what I'm using is art, pro art paint, I think it is. Hold on. Urgh, I need this lighter! I don't need it this dark. I probably should have done less red and more white. Yeah, it's still coming up tonight. Uh, yeah, Art Pro Crimson Red. There we are. There we are. Now we can see it. And then Folk Art 229 Flesh Paint Acrylic. <clears throat> I don't know why I just said all that because I really don't care personally as long as you know what color it is. I didn't think, I didn't, I don't know why I just did that. That was so weird. Anyway. <laughs> And I'm trying to make a kind of light red-ish, a little dirty kind of. So I'm just like mixing colors as much as I can to just break up the dark red. And I just used light yellow. I'm not reading all that. I'm not. Because I personally, I really don't think it really matters what color it is. <clears throat> Like, as long as you know what shade it is, I don't think you guys really need to know, like, what... To me, I don't find it important to know what brand it is or what number code it is or anything like that. As long as you know it's a light yellow and, you know, it's a dark red, light yellow, flesh tone. I'm, I'm a very bad artist, I know. I'm a very, very bad artist. But I, like, I'm just trying to make it light... Because I added way too much red. I'm just trying to make like a darker skin color. I'm not even working with... I'm not doing a picture with skin. That didn't sound right. <laughs> just like that thought. It Like that just did not sound right at all. Yeah. I probably made way too much paint. But that's okay with me. Because I can just... Work around this as much as possible. <clears throat> Because I'm still working on the dark art picture that is this. This is actually the inside of it. It You guys can kind of tell it looks just white, but in person it's a really light flesh tone, which is just the two coats that I used of the regular light flesh color. And that is the outside of it. I want this part, this outside piece, to look like the inside. But I don't <laughs> remember what I used for this, and I'm a little disappointed in myself. Because I know I used the yellow a little bit, and I used other colors, and I just mixed them all together to give me this weird tone. And I probably should have paid attention a little bit. So now I'm just like mixing random colors and hoping to God I can get something good out of it. <clears throat> I'm just going back in with the light yellow. I'm just going to squirt enough in there. Yeah, this happens when you're not a professional artist. You're just like mixing random colors. I'm like, this will work! This can totally work! And I'm gonna end up with freaking orange because I added way too much yellow with my red. Yay! Color blending! Ah! It's okay because that actually looks pretty good to me, actually. Maybe a little bit more flesh tin, maybe? I don't know. I think I got this. Hold on. But, um, I've been kind of bouncing back and forth, uh, this morning and last night between the concept design of what I want on the inside of it. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty groovy. I just want it a little bit lighter. Oh, I'm just stirring it with a, yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but it's just my regular paintbrush, which I'm a little upset. I don't know what happened to my big bundle of, my big bundle of paintbrushes. I wanted to say something else and I I didn't want to finish my thought. But it is the British term for cigarettes. And it is also what you call a very eccentric person. 
And I don't want to use all of my flesh tone, so I'm just going to keep using the yellow. Actually, you know what? Screw this. I go by my mom's rule. Art has no rules. Actually, that's more of um, Sam's ruling, is that art had just no rules. So I, um, I apply more by Sam's art. My mom never really did art that much. She wasn't the artist of the family, which is kind of funny because her dad did art. So I find that kind of funny that his daughter didn't get any of the art skills, but yet here I am. I'm the one who got all the artness. Me and my <clears throat> questionable brother. But he didn't... He doesn't keep doing his art. He only does it once in a while. That's the last I remembered. And me, clearly, I, I, <laughs> I do this almost every day, it seems. Or at least I try to do... Some paint fell and I'm like, crap, did I get on my pants again? I don't I don't want to wash these pants. I already did wash. But, um... Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, my brother has great talent for art. He's a, he's a decent artist. I appreciate his work. I have some of his work somewhere in one of my folders. But other than that, I really... I don't care much for my brothers. I don't. But, you know... When you think about it, if it wasn't for my brothers, I wouldn't be the way I am, so... I kind of have to thank them in a way, but I really don't trust you guys to save my own life. Like, I keep my distance from them, and they already know if I see them, I'm going to have a lot of words to say to them, so... I should use white, but if I use white... Oh, wow, I thought I was missing for a kitten for a second. I'm like, I only see one kitten laying down. I'm like, shit. And I looked over, I looked above next to you, and like, there he is. I'm like, did the wiggle wiggle worm. Hi. Hi, Alcatraz, I see you. And I'm just going to do a little bit more yellow, because I'm starting to think that's actually working a little bit. Oh, if you... Ah, my ear just went numb. Oh, I hate that. Would you stop squishing the babies? You did a little sad. Like, that kind of looks good. Like, it's a burgundy, like a light burgundy, kind of? It's a burgundy isn't even the word. I don't know why I'm trying to say professional things. I don't even know that. I don't even know it that well. I just, I know what the colors are. I know what looks right. Do I know the proper words? No. Good God, no. I don't know why I'm trying to act so professional. I feel weird. But I'm actually kind of getting it where I want it. Because I have a funny feeling if I add red, it, I shouldn't even use crimson. I should have just used my lighter red and I would have been happy with that. But I didn't think about that until now. I don't have any kind of light paint. I have food coloring I could use though. But I don't have a light food coloring. Hold on. I will make this. It doesn't work. I'll make it work. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have waited off on this video to do my stuff, because like now I'm going to be spending the entire time just trying to... Yay! Yellow food coloring! Yay! That'll make it better. And then watch, I make it worse. It's like, damn! Squirt, 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 squirt. No! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Ah! I tilted too far! <laughs> Fuck! I tilted! That was so stupid. Stupid, oh yes, that totally worked. Great, because now I'm gonna have freaking food coloring all over the bottom of the bowl. And I don't care. It's looking kind of orangey. <laughs> it's, or it's like orange-ish and it's running now. And you know what, I'm okay with that. Because I'm about to add a little bit of red to make that thick again. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't even know what red this is, but it is a very nice red. 
I like this red. That's basically what it looks like when it dries. I like this red. Which is probably something I should do. Is like actually stock up on thing like art supplies the game because I'm running low on a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have gone to art school because I know I could have used about two colors to make the color that I needed, and my brain is just like, nope, nope, we're just gonna make mud. Because even I know this still is not going to work out like how I want it to go. And you know what? I'm okay with that. Because it's all about trial and error, and that's kind of why I love doing art. That's a big reason why I love doing art. Because like, you're supposed to have fun with it. Not everything has to be so bloody serious. Like, you can have those goof-up moments like this. Okay, yeah, we're hitting the right color now. And I'm only going to use one coat of this paint anyway. So whatever I don't use, I'm probably going to try to clean this off. Or something else. I don't know just yet. I don't even know how I'm going to do all this. But that looks pretty good. Ah. Bloop. Okay, so with all the colors mixed, like with the red, the, yeah, so that actually looks pretty good to me. <clears throat> oh, God, I'm such a Gungan. I'm not even thinking. I swear to God, I have not been thinking all day today, and I feel very ashamed of myself, because I should be thinking way more than I've been. This brush has been soaking up so much water and so much gunk. I'm surprised this brush is still functioning. Because I don't want this too runny, but yet I want it thin enough to where I can just dab it on and I'll be happy. And if anybody's wondering why I have an ace on my arm, because I just noticed in a few shots you've seen it. Um, I was trying to get Salem's ear cleaned out, and he wound up tearing right into me. Like, he did not want his ear done today. <clears throat> I don't know what happened. Somehow he has, like, this weird gunk in his left ear, I think it is. I really don't know what it is. I didn't notice it until last night, like, early in the morning. I'm like, I'm not gonna deal with you right now. I'll do that later. Because I know if I tried doing it yesterday, I would have been in a heap of hell. And I wasn't in the mood to do all that. So I just said, fuck it. And I'm probably just going to hold it. So I don't have to redo this part again. Because I already had to do this like five different times. And I still need to go over it again. Because a lot of it's still kind of sketchy. Just load it up. And I'm actually going to tilt the camera down just a little bit. There we go. Uh, I'm actually going to do the edges a different way. I'm just going to try to dab. God, I'm so nervous because this doesn't even look like that. It looks darker. I'm like really hesitant on doing this, but like I know if I do it a certain way, I should be fine. But like when it dries, it should be good. And that's technically all I'm going to do. I'm just going to, I'm going to go slow on the edges because like I said, I don't want to repaint the bottom. I don't want to repaint a lot of this because I've already done it like five different times already. This has way too many coats on it. But like how I'm doing it, I should be okay because that's all I'm doing. I'm just dabbing it as I go. I did have a good technique at one point where it was like every time I dabbed it, I had like texture to it. Which I think that's because I was using a, a newspaper too. That was when I was a kid though. I already got paint on my hands, so this is going to be, like, really difficult now. Okay, I'm still good. I don't know, it just seems like me and paint don't get along, but we kind of do get along. It's really weird. Yes, I'm going to constantly keep checking my bottom because, like I said, I don't want to redo that part all over again when I've already done that, like, 10 billion times, it seems. Yep, 
already got a little bit of overflow. God damn it. Okay, fine then. We're going to change hands. I'm going to feel so stupid if I just... Nope. Okay. And this is going to feel really weird because I never use my right hand for painting. So me doing this, I already feel retarded. <laughs> retarded. <laughs> I don't feel ashamed of myself when I say retarded because I only think of family guys. So I don't feel bad saying that word. But I still feel kind of bad saying that word because I know a few retarded people. Come on, Salem. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Do 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 here. Come on, bud, move. I'll take care of your urn a little bit, buddy. I think you guys can still kind of see what I'm doing. There we go. Salem, come on, buddy. Get out of there. It's kind of funny because once you get your brush a certain way, it'll, it actually feels natural in some sections. So it's like, oh my god, did I do some spillover or anything like that? It's like, yeah, no, we're good. But I'm still really cautious with things. Like, I'm still pretty, like... I don't know, I still feel weird on some pieces of it. it kind of smells like my dad's paint. That's weird. Okay, yeah, we're doing good. I don't care. All my clothes are art clothes. That's one thing people don't understand about me. How can you ruin your clothes like this? And blah, blah, blah. I totally don't care. All of my clothes are art clothes. I've never had, like, separate play clothes. You know, play clothes, work clothes, clean, dressy clothes. I never went through all that as a kid. I just had clothes. I never really cared much because half the time I can get everything washed out and we're good. <laughs> I never really cared for all that specific crap. It's like the whole thing with PJs. I don't have day clothes and night clothes. I don't go through all that crap. Because nine times out of ten, the next day I have something to do. So I don't always see the point in getting changed. It's like, oh, time to get my PJs. Nope, I don't see the point in any of that. Never have, never will. And that's actually kind of like some things people don't understand about me. Is like, you know, I don't know how you can do all that. I don't know how you can sleep in the same clothes you did that day. It's all, it's like, it's filthy. It's this, it's that. I don't, I, I really don't care. I never really saw the point of a lot of things. I know my mom and dad tried teaching me the differences. I just, I never cared for them. I, I still don't. <laughs> I guess I'm weird. I, I don't know. I see it as normal, but I never really saw the whole point of having... A complete different set of clothes for like nailed it I am so happy because now I don't have to redo the base so glad. but it's like I don't know I just I never really saw the point in any of that I still don't I'm 23 and I still don't see the point of half the stuff people do it's like my um, ex coworker. I think I want to say my ex coworker. I can't remember now it's one of it was either my ex coworker or my old bandmate. It was one of the two. But they would always get on my case about it. They're like, I don't know how you can sleep in your day clothes and just all this shit. I'm like, I don't care. Like, unless I busted my tail that day doing, like, music and stuff like that, okay, yeah, I would change my clothes. But if I didn't do much that day or if it was just, like, a slow day, I don't see the point in getting changed. Changed. My clothes didn't get dirty. I don't have a scent to me. Why do I give a shit? Yeah, that might make me weird. I really don't care. My weirdness is what makes me normal. <laughs> so I've been told. But um, I'm probably going to overdo this a little bit. But I actually like how it turned out. It's going to be a pain though for when I do the creases later. I'm going to lay this on the bed. i got paint all over me. <clears throat> and that actually looks a lot better than having the f flesh, yeah, the flesh tone on it. But I'm just going to dab it around with this so it looks broken. I really can never remember how Sam did, um, <clears throat> like that chip art, like a broken away. Okay, hmm, 
I'm trying to think of the words and I can't think of the words. If you guys do nails and back in the day, I don't think they still have it now, but I remember that they had, um, it was like a colored nail polish kind of, but when you applied it after a while and it dried, it'll crack away. So it have like a volcano look kind of, I'm probably not describing any of this properly. Like I think I'm describing it right, but I could be totally wrong on how I'm describing this. But, um, she used to be able to, like, she ha found a way to do that kind of work without using the actual polish itself. I don't know how she did it. Cracked nails, I think it was. It was really cool looking. I'm not going to lie. That was actually some pretty interesting stuff she would do with it. But for the life of me, I cannot remember. Like, how she did it, what she used to do it with. Like, I don't know. She was just like an art genius jesus okay i'm gonna need something a little heavy now now that i'm actually like done the main stickles now i'm just like sopping up some of what i've done let me do it. yeah i don't like how that's working like that but i like i want that cracked away feel on the back part since like, this is like the inside of the room so I don't want a lot of the dark tones to be on here. It, think of it like Silent Hill. You know how like everything starts to decay and stuff like that? I don't know why I didn't just say Silent Hill in the beginning. But like the scenes when the sirens go off and you start seeing like everything start to decay and like rust away. There's the word I'm looking for. Rusting. That's kind of what I want this to look like. Because like the inside of it's all rusty and falling apart. And that's what I want this to look like. Dear God, my brain just did not want to think of Silent Hill just then. I've watched Silent Hill four times yesterday. Something like that. Yeah, maybe it was three times. Because the fourth time I watched Silent Hill Revelations, which is the second one. I'm not even going to try to get into all that. <laughs> I'm just like, I can get into depth with all this. No, you know what? I'm not going to get into all that. Because I know not everybody's going to really care on the whole movie you need a life situation it's like i'm pretty sure a lot of you really don't care about you know a lot of things i go off about or like what i talk about i know some of you find it interesting i can name two people right now brian is one of them because i do occasionally talk about wrestling or in the southern words of wrestling which i can't do it i'm a little ashamed of myself i don't feel right saying wrestling I, it it kind of reminds me of Ted Turner way too much. And when he took over WCW, I didn't like him when he was saying wrestling because it didn't sound right. But certain people can pull it off. I'm not going to say the DiBiases or anybody with a southern accent, but... Um, <laughs> you know, it, it's just me. I I was always a fan of wrestling. I'll always love wrestling. I may not be able to watch wrestling anymore at the moment because I don't have cable, but I will look up wrestling, like, wrestling things on YouTube, like, old wrestling matches, promos with CM Punk, Raven, um, Steve Carino matches, just because I know 99.9% .9 of the time my cousin Mike Keener was in those matches because him and Steve Carino are very close friends and I think it's so awesome! Uh, and it just, like, now I think about it, it's even cooler because Steve Carino and CM Punk did have, like, they, the paths did cross during wrestling, like, during the independent circuit and stuff like that when CM Punk was coming up. So it's like, it's kind of cool, like, I don't, I, I'm a dork, I don't know why, I just, uh, I'm a dork, yeah... Yeah, because I was about to have a total nerdgasm. Like, ah, I'm not going to, like, tweak epically on that. If you want to see me, though, tweak and, like, just get overly excited on wrestling subjects, be my loving guest, I will be more than happy to do a video on that. But for right now, I'm not trying to go through all of that. And I still nailed it! I love it! <laughs> love it! <laughs> oh, God, that takes it out. I still love doing that.
and because I have little prism bars. So that's what it looks like now. I think it looks a lot better. Um, I'm going to let it dry, but once it does, it should have that cracked away look that I'm hoping for. If I have to, I'll be more than happy to go over it again to um, take more away from it. Because I think I know what I need to do for it all, but it's like... I don't play with paints, and this is like paint and food coloring on the this part of it, so it's kind of weird and hard to tell how it's going to dry. <clears throat> and like, if I need to, I'll make another like coat piece for it. Yeah, I didn't waste that much of my paint, so like, that's what I have left over. I didn't waste that much as it all <laughs> spills over. I don't think I wasted that much, but I'm actually going to play with it because I don't know why I like seeing it all swirl together. I'm, I'm weird to me. It's very relaxing. And I will never drink out of this mug. Ugh. Say clean, 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 clean. Because I'm so freaking weird and this is uber duper relaxing. I should actually tell my therapist about this. <laughs> you want a hot relax, Doc? I swirl paint around trying to clean it. Ah! I know a lot of you are probably yelling at me right now. You could have saved that for another coat! Yeah, I could have. But I already got the coat that I wanted, so I don't really see the point in keeping it. <clears throat> yeah, I probably should have kept that, but with like how much is still at the bottom of this thing, I am pretty good. I don't see the need of keeping it anymore, and the only reason I have it double-sided on there is because, yeah. So I'm actually pretty happy with how that turned out. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Uh, I was gonna do another one, but I don't know where my other pieces have gone. Oh god, this thing really overflowed. Oh my god, there is so much tea. Like, I really have to serve this thing slowly because if I don't, the tea is going to fall out and I'm not okay with that. Hmm. And it's actually not bad. I didn't even think I wrote my review yet on that. <clears throat> yeah, like now it's like drying a little bit. You can, I can definitely tell like the different, like the blotchy tearing away pieces. I want to add 3D to it, like a 3D effect to it. <clears throat> but that's going to take me way too long and I don't have the full attention span to sit here, cut out all the paper pieces that I need. Or the paper pieces that I would want to make look like pieces of... I can't think of the word. It's not rust. It's like... Wallpaper, I guess? Ugh, I don't know. I've never been to Asylum, so I don't know what their walls would be made out of. I know some of it would be more like a padding, I guess. But I don't really want to sit there and cut out all the pieces just trying to get the bar set up took me way too long <clears throat> that took me at least an hour maybe a little over an hour hitting like the two hour mark because i like sat there with one of the blades trying to cut out the little slits and stuff like that plus i had to roll over well try to bend the tinfoil and all of that stuff. So just cutting out the little slits alone took me way too long. Like that alone took me far too long. Cause I try to get it right to where it didn't peel away too much out of the front because a lot of the times it kept peeling back on me. <clears throat> so like, like, yeah, it took me way too long for all of that, but I kind of want to do a 3d piece to it. Like even make a 3d creature for it, but I don't, Like, I don't know. Like, I don't have all of the equipment I would need for that. Like, I would actually would much, I would actually use, um, I can't, it's like wire. The, um, really thin wire you would find in, um, pipe cleaners. I would actually use that for the fingers to wrap around the bars, but I don't have any pipe cleaners. 
I don't have thin metal of anything right off, and I'm not trying to cut down tin foil to use as little fingers. That's not going to work really. But if I do, if I can find my one paintbrush, I cut it really, really thin to do like fine thin work on nails and stuff like that, which was the original why, original, <laughs> original reason why. <laughs> I cut that one down. It's somewhere in here, but I'm not too sure where. Hello, Lily. My little Lily, Lily. Silly Lily, Lily. No, I rip wrap. But, um... You know I might actually do that, but I don't think I have black paint. <clears throat> like, I have paint. I actually finally have paint. I just don't think I have black paint. Oh, spoke too soon. Found it. Lamp black. So I might actually use that to make the little fingers. But I don't have a big thing. Like I don't have one of these of black, I don't think. <clears throat> I think this is the first time I've actually had a concept piece. Like a decent concept to one of my paintings. Because half the time, none of my art ever has any kind of concept or any set design. It's like, yeah... Mm -hmm. You know, let's just do this. Yeah, you know. Let's... Because you're totally awesome! <laughs> Ice cream Sammy. Um... Uh... Yeah, well, that's what I do, Jay. I just randomly come out of nowhere with random shit, so... <laughs> Good luck with this. Um... <laughs> I just got a text from him because earlier I told him thank you so much for helping me with math because I'm horrible with math. <clears throat> and he's like, well, that just came out of the blue. Like, that was just random. Yeah, well, I'm a Gemini. Most Geminis are very random. But I was counting change earlier and I'm like, okay, 10, 20, 30, 40 cents for this thing. And I'm like, yeah. That's fine, fact. I know my basic math. I know how to count by tens. I know how to count by fives. I know the basics of everything. But for me to add it all together... Not always a good idea. No. Not always a great combination for me. And I do not have a... I do not have a big thing of blue. Damn it. Blue? Really? You're looking for blue? No, you're trying to look for black. Good point. <laughs> and I do not have that. And that kind of sucks. I was hoping I would have had a big tube... Tube of black but I do not wow I feel freaking retarded I could have used burnt sienna like I originally I told you if you... I told you there's an easier way to make your darker flesh tone and there's a darker flesh tone I don't care I like that more anyway because it's more of a rust color so whatever Look, it's done, it's done. I'm not trying to, re I'm not going to scrape all of that paint off and then redo it. No. I'm sorry. I'm not doing all of that. I also used makeup too for the front. I think that's another thing that like kind of threw me off. Because I used a little bit of, these are cream colors. I don't know what the hell these even are. Um, Concealer? Correct and concealer compact. Medium and dark tones, which is actually kind of true. I'm guessing this is the same thing, but less gay. I know that has sparkles in it. <laughs> that one has sparkles and I like it. I want to make these into a nail polish, but I don't know how. <laughs> Duck, open up the door. I don't know how. <laughs> um... There's a funny show I found not too long ago. It's called Crack Duck. Yeah, it's exactly how it sounds, too. It is a cracked out duck that has these weird adventures, kind of, in this ho hotel. In this apartment complex, he's like... He's kind of like the handyman, in a way. But I don't want to give too much away, but one of the episodes, because if you guys haven't seen it, I don't want to be an ass and, like, spoil, oh my god, this is the secret of everything. And Once you see the first episode, you'll understand a lot. Like, you'll get a lot of the little stuff, like, oh, okay, that, that, this person's like this, this person's in love with that person. Again, I don't want to give away too much, but it's kind of funny, but one of the episodes, 
Um, the main manager is knocking on Duck's door. He's like, Duck, open up! Crack Duck is underneath the bed in the fetal position. I don't know how. Uh, it's one of those shows you have to see to, like, get the jokes. Because that whole series is just... Why, dude? Just, why did you make this? And why did you only make one season? Like, there has to be more. And that's, the series, Crack Duck has been out since... Mm, I think it said 2005. 15, 2014, something like that. It's been out long enough that there should be a second series. But how they ended it, I guess, is okay. But I th I still believe that there should be a second season on there. Because I want to see more Crack Duck. I want to see more of, like, his little adventures and, like, how his life is now with his new blankety blank blank blank. Because I really want to say it, but I don't want to say it. So... Uh, that's kind of all I got, really, at the moment, art-wise, because that's going to take a while to dry. And I've been working on tea letters again. I'm currently working on Red Rose. This is actually veering off to be a whole another art thing. Like, wow. Um, you overly, obsessively clean your kids. Stop it. I should have you arrested for over-cleaning your kids. Um, at the moment, I'm actually working on Red Rose, which is pretty good of a tea company. Actually, they're a very great tea company because they're sin sinfully delicious. Nope, I'm done. Nope. I have given up on trying to speak the native language of English. <sighs> Sweet Temptations. Blech. That is actually probably the best tease I've ever had because it's all of the guilty pleasures without feeling guilty. Because if it tastes like there should be chunks in here and I have to sneeze. I, I'm good. But like they feel like there tastes like there should be chunks in here. For like these, there's also strawberry cheesecake, and then there are immunity lines, which is blue lap blue. I have to sneeze, and I don't want to sneeze. <coughs> oh, I sneezed. <laughs> I have to sneeze, but I don't want to sneeze. Nope. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> and these are the ones I've done so far for their letters. Their strawberry cheesecake is the top favorite. I love this one out of all of them. I wish I could find them again, but I don't know where to find them. I hate to say it, but I may actually need to go to Amazon, possibly. And Amazon is overplayed and overdone and overrated, but yet they have everything on there. And by overrated, I mean too many people talk about Amazon. So when I hear Amazon, it's like, great. Yep. Whatever. It's another thing. I don't really want to hear it at the moment. It, it's just... it's. Ugh. But Amazon has a lot of good things, though. But their Sweet Temptation line is perfect. And the one I'm actually drinking at the moment is Energize Blossom... Oops. Peach Lily Blossom. Which is so freaking delicious. No sugar really needed or nor required. But, um... Yeah, it's, this is like the little stuff I've been working on. It's just the teas and stuff like that. I should write out my teas for the ones that I do have. Uh, it's going to be a lot more writing. And I just did all this while doing the tea tasting. So it's like, I actually kept the backup letters. So I might actually just show them to my doctor. Um, but yeah, that's probably going to be the rest of my day is working on the letters. And when that's actually, when that's dried, I'll come back to do the rest of that. So, and I'm <laughs> I'm also getting a little hungry again, so I'm gonna... Uh, actually, I got plain rice I grabbed. <clears throat> can't help it when you have a... <laughs> when you have the craving for hands, you can't help but to go to your local Chinese shop. And most of the people up there know me, so I, I, I get Chinese food way too much, so... Okay, I'm starting to get a little too comfortable now. It's like, oh, this is what I'm eating. This is what I'm eating today. It's like, yeah. Whatever. 
<laughs> so I will see you guys in the next video at some point. Bye!